All right, in this video, I want to discuss about how you can add DRM to your website. If you are a website owner, if you're a business owner who wants to protect their video content, then this video is for you. Or if you're a techie guy who just wants to understand how to implement DRM on a technical level, then I can help you as well. So let's try to understand DRM a bit before. If you have not watched my previous video on how Netflix uses DRM protection, then watch that because it goes a little bit into technical side, but it should give you an idea about what DRM as a technology is. In this video, I want to start focusing on what exactly DRM is and again like a quick refresher and how you can implement it. So what is DRM? So DRM stands for digital rights management. It's a technology which obfuscates how a video is played. Obfuscates being the keyword here, right? So obfuscate means that it just hides, it just gram, you know, mangles that information where it's not clear to an attacker or to a person who is trying to screen record or trying to screenshot that how is video is being played because the moment you try to do screen recording or screenshotting, the video blacks out, right? So it's as simple as that, that if you have non-technical people, if you have your own small business, small website where there are not a lot of hackers or a lot of technical people around there and you want to prevent piracy, then DRM is a great option to go by. Now, of course, you can just take your phone and record the monitor itself to prevent to bypass DRM. But in that case, you can do other things like watermarking and so on. So we'll get to that also. But this is what essentially DRM is. If you want to see it in example, let me show you that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm opening a course which I created on Fermion. And let me just add a random video in this course. And let me attach this test video, right? So it's a three second video. It's a three second clip where we don't do anything. It's just a test clip over here and right now you can see it's not DRM protected right let me save changes and let me open it from a user side right so let me go back preview your course as user and here we are this untitled video which exists over here so I'll just use a different video I just changed the video change that clip so over here you can see now it's a five second clip again a test clip which is a normal video right nothing fancy or nothing interesting about this now what happens if I enable DRM on this is that you will see that once it's enabled this video playback changes a bit Right now, the video is processing. It will take a while to convert it into DRM. All right, so now let's try to understand how you can create a video, how you can protect your video files from piracy, from using DRM. So what usually happens is that you have a file like video.mp4 and you upload it somewhere on a website like YouTube or Vimeo or, you know, if you're just uploading a draw on your website, then also it can work. If you're just creating like a video file, that's completely fine as well. And this file more or less is directly delivered to the browser over here. Right, so there is no changes or no protection done here. What we want to add with DRM in your websites is that there is a technology here which DRM encrypts it. Then you deliver this to the browser. Your browser talks to the operating system and your operating system then based on like, I mean, your browser can also talk directly in case of like Widevine L3. Your operating system in this case, for example, Fairplay, which are like two technologies. So Widevine is one DRM technology which you should be aware about. And Fairplay is another technology. Widevine is used by Google, Google Chrome, Android devices. Fairplay is used by iOS and Apple devices, right? Fairplay is, as far as I know, it's hardware decoded. So it's hardware level supported, which is great. Widevine is software and hardware both. L3 is software, which is on browser. L1 is hardware, which is on, you know, Android devices. So once you have this pipeline, what they do is they contact a server, which is like you know, like Apple or Google server to exchange a license, right? For the playback. So they need a license for this content to be played. Now, where you have to pay money to any provider is not here. It's free to encrypt. It's not here. It's free to deliver also. I mean, depending on your bandwidth and storage. Again, this could be free. This could be paid. Here is where you have to pay the money, right? Because the playback is where Google and Apple also makes money. How do they make money? Well, fundamentally talking, Apple charges you $99 per year for their development per account, right? And Fairplay is included in that. Google, however, is a bit tricky where as far as I know, Google charges you $5,000 for a year for DRM protection, right? This number could be more, this could be less, but this is a 5,000 US dollar contract on a yearly basis if you want to work directly with Google, right? And this is also very hard to do in general because for Widevine, you have to have like, you have certain things you have to complete. You have to pass a certification. You have to also travel in person 
person to somewhere in order to get the certification and only then then you will get drm playback license from google right so this license what it means is that they'll give you a set of keys which you will be able to encrypt this video and then ask google to decrypt it right so apple is straightforward google is fairly messy and i don't think you need any other platform for the most part right widevine and fairplay are the most commonly used drm technologies and if you look at this compatibility matrix which i found you will see that as long as you support hls widevine and hls fairplay if you support these two things you support all versions of chrome all firefox all opera all safari like most of the common ones at least any modern microsoft edge which is like not running on different engine which is running on chromium so widevine is supported there and internet explorer 11 is not supported right so what you are missing out on is microsoft edge which are older versions and internet explorer and if you look at mobile support for web you will see hls widevine and fairplay being supported on microsoft edge and chrome safari older versions don't support it newer versions do support it and again inside native apps it's also supported right so hls widevine and fairplay is all you need there are also a bunch of more other providers like play ready from microsoft but i think you don't have to support that so now all you have to do is somehow figure out how to build a pipeline like this which can protect your video now one way to go about this is to hire a developer then get drm keys after a lot of struggle from the providers directly like google and apple implement the whole system of transcoding delivery cdn optimization drm etc so this is a huge struggle right if you are a business owner or if you are somebody who's especially non-technical this would be a huge struggle if you are a technical person you can take this challenge but again like getting this point to is where most people will fail and most people should not do this also because it's not the best use of their time so how do you implement drm without so much struggle this estimated time if i mention here is easily like eight to ten months what if i tell you that there is a better way and even cheaper way right the cost would be easily in tens of thousands of dollars including the you know developer cost and the person and this license fee and so on if i tell you that there is an easier way for this and that is using a platform like fermion right now what you can do is essentially replace all of these things that you have over here with fermion in case of fermion how we implement drm is let me show you so let me show you this example i am inside a course inside fermion where i uploaded just one video and i enabled drm so now if i go from the user side let me just keep Keep this video also open so this is a preview video right of what the video is a basic video from a user's point of view you can see over here that if i open this video and if i start to play this this video stays black now the reason it stays black is because right now i'm screen recording right i'm recording this screen for the youtube video purpose that's why you're not able to see any video at all but you're able to see the video which gets played here why because i have enabled drm over here if i disable drm and if i save these changes for example and if i go ahead and refresh this page you will see now when i play the video you are able to see the video right so you are able to see the contents of the video but when i enable drm this video just blacks out and it's not a bug it's a feature because the reason this video blacks out now once the drm is enabled is because it's being played with secure servers so nobody is able to now in this case download screen record or do any of this moreover you can also embed it directly from fermion right so this player over here can be embedded directly in your website so you don't have to use fermion let's say if you have a third party website or if you are just embedding it on your own platform you don't have to use fermion you can just use it directly so you can play video files directly fermion also covers a lot of these other things right so getting drm keys we handle that implementing the whole system that's already done transcoding delivery cd and all of that is already done and the best part is that fermion also prices you only on the bandwidth and the storage you're occupying just like you know you would probably pay a cloud provider like aws or s3 or any of the cloud providers once you build this whole system plus the time Time frame here is literally like 10 minutes so you just bring a bunch of your videos which you have upload it over fermion let it process enable drm and it should be done within 10 to 15 minutes and you're able to embed it directly under the hood we are also doing the same thing so if you want to see for example we give you this advanced widevine configuration which is available so you can configure where the video on what level the video plays right so for example if you want your video is very secure and you don't want it to play at all on any device at all you will switch to 
wide wind L1. I will switch all of these qualities to wide wind L1 and HDCP protection to no digital output so that no device at all can be used to steal the video as well. So if I save this for example and now if I refresh this what you're gonna see is like it just doesn't play right because it just errors out because this device this Chrome which I'm running right now doesn't support this at all. However the same video if I try to play on Safari would work because Safari by default as I discussed uses fair play which runs on hardware level encoding and decoding right so on safari on mac os this is even secure than chrome on l3 so again for fermion also you pay per playback over here in case of fermion you pay for bandwidth whatever storage you are occupying and per playback of drm which already includes 5000 playbacks depending on whatever plan you are include going with fermion so that's already included and then you can purchase more credits right so it's a simple the cost is extremely low over here compared to what you will spend eventually building your own system but if you want to do that this is how the whole thing works and you have to build a lot of paths moving paths and moving things in the system so yeah that's pretty much it for this video do check out fermion you can access fermion from fermion.app or any of the link in my description of the video do check it out you can contact me from book a demo you can you know check out pricing you can even buy from here directly if you want that's all for this one and i will see you in the next video very soon